Sound matters. Be heard. Welcome to the podcast where you get exclusive behind the scenes tips to make your own show sound truly spectacular. This is Podtastic Audio. Hey, what's happening and happy new year 2023. You know, thank you so much for being here. My name is Chris of the Chris and Christine Show podcast. You can find out all you wanted to know about that show if you decide to look it up at chrisandchristineshow.com. And I'll put a link to that into the show notes of this episode. In fact, I think that if you mention anything on your podcast, like anything at all, whether it's a book, a movie, a website, an Instagram, whatever it is, Put a link to it in your show notes. Pretty, please, come on now. Get with it and put show notes in there. It's not hard to do. You just copy and paste the link, and there you go. So when someone listens to your episode, like you're listening to this one right now, you can look down and say, oh, what did he mention? What was the website called again? Oh, look, there's a link for it right there. Clickety, click, click, and you're on your way. So today on this episode of Podtastic Audio... I am here to help you create your podcast. That's why Podtastic Audio even exists, is to help you create an amazing podcast, basically doing the things that I've done on the Chris and Christine Show, which has got us even this far. (laughs) We've been doing the Chris and Christine Show probably, what, like four years now? And we started basically with like cheap, crappy USB microphones which is fine. You get started. You can totally have a podcast with pretty much anything. I mean, you can do a podcast with your iPhone, like only your iPhone. I mean, I wouldn't do that really, but you can. And physically, yes, you can do that. So when we got started, we didn't know anything about anything. And then eventually, I, when, I, when I look at things and I try to work on something and I go all in and figuring stuff out, I will tinker to the day's end, figuring out how to make a better sounding podcast. And that's exactly what I've been doing year after year after year. And yeah, eventually I did have to upgrade to a few things. We upgraded to a Behringer audio interface. And then from that, I've upgraded to what I'm using right now, which is the Rodecaster Pro 2. I am back into the K2 Studios. The last episode I did, I was using the Zoom PodTrack P4, which uh, does a fairly decent job, you know, recording and doing its thing. It's, It's a good device. It's a good toy for the money. In fact, if I knew any better, I probably would have started out with the Zoom PodTrack P4 before I got into just playing around with like USB microphones and figuring all that nonsense out. I would have skipped all that crap and gone straight to the audio interface with the Zoom PodTrack. But anyways, like I said, I'm back in the studio with the Rodecaster Pro 2, and here we are. So as we enter 2023, it is January as I record this right now. I have made a seriously major New Year's resolution that I'd like to carry on to the next year, which is to take podcasting like this podcast and podcasting in general to the next level. When I mean next level, I'm talking about actually using podcasting as a tool to generate some serious revenue, like make it like a job like a career. If you actually Google, you can do this right now. You can Google up podcasting jobs, jobs that are podcasting related, and you'll find hundreds of them, lots of podcasting jobs available. And the reason why is because podcasting for the last probably four or five years now has been extremely hot. It's a hot market for podcasting. And I think because it's, well, I guess 2020, the COVID deal, Uh, A lot of people are podcasting because they're bored, but a lot of those shows have already been dead in the water. A lot of them start during the whole COVID. They're bored at home. You know, three guys, uh, whatever, doing the Zoom train show, talking about their favorite movies or whatever, and Batman, who knows what and stuff. Those shows, I mean, if they're still hanging on, great, good on you. But it's hard to keep podcasting, especially when you have multiple people on the same show with multiple personalities, multiple schedules, Some people go back to work. Some people aren't working. Some people move. Some people just get bored doing it. Because if you're doing a show with another co-host or multiple co-hosts 
And one of them's like, I don't feel like doing this today. I got the soccer thing. I got this to do, or I got to be at work, or, you know, I'm just not feeling the podcast anymore. And Joe, we only have like seven downloads. Like, why are we even doing it in the first place? I mean, what do we care? You know, whatever. It's not going to be any good. You know, I know we already spent so much money on this gear and stuff, but I, I'm checked out, man. I, I just can't do it anymore. I'm just, I'm, it's not for me, you know? And that does happen. I'm sorry to say, yeah, things like they do happen with almost anything. I remember when I was younger, I used to always um, want to play board games with my brother. And I would go into the closet or wherever the board game was. Let's play, I don't know, Monopoly, for example. Great. Let me get everything set up, get the board game in, get all the pieces set up. Maybe like, like two minutes into the game, he's like, eh, I don't feel like playing anymore. And I'd be like, what? What do you mean you want to play anymore? I got this thing all set up. I took all the time to put it all together and you check out. It's like, yeah. So I just get so mad at him for that stuff. You know, I guess the same thing would happen too if your podcast buddies all decide to check out and you're like, what the hell? I want to keep podcasting. You don't want to keep podcasting. So what happens sometimes when that happens, because I've seen this happen, is the one person that wants to podcast may branch off and do their own podcast, but it usually ends up being some form of an interview show. Now, there's nothing wrong with doing interview shows. I mean, they're fine. They're popular. Everybody loves doing interviews. I like doing interviews. But just because you have a podcast does not mean you only have to do interviews. You can do a solo show. Like, I'm doing a solo show right now. I'm talking to you directly. You and I are having the interview. I'm interviewing you. I know you can't really say anything back to me, but it's like that's what it's like. So. I know it's tricky to do a solo show. Uh, I think that's why people like doing interview shows so much because they're so easy. I mean, they're so easy. All you have to have somebody schedule time to link up, whether it's Zoom or whatever. I know you got to come up with some questions and things like that. But how hard can it be? You ask them a few things, got to get the ball rolling, and then you let them do most of the talking. Um, in fact, I was interviewed not too long ago, and I'm not gonna I'm not going to say who it was or anything like that, but... It was not a very good interview. I'm going to tell you that right now. They weren't very prepared and they were extremely nervous. Okay. Okay. What am I, a celebrity or something like that? I'm, like, I'm famous? Not really. So uh, I guess, I mean, when you interview somebody, you know, I guess you can get a little nervous. I've gotten nervous jitters to interviewing people. You can kind of tell a little bit, but I try my best to kind of like tone that down a bit. The person interviewing me, was not. They were a little nervous, I could tell, but uh, in fact, they were so nervous that they even asked the same question twice, even after I answered it, we went down the list. So basically, they were just reading off a list of questions, and they just lost their place and went back to the question again, which is a total mistake. And in fact, I even said, uh, I already answered that question, but if you want me to answer it again, here you go. Here's the same answer again. And he's like, oh, okay. And so I think he went back down and found another question to ask me. And I just kind of went on to the next thing down his list. But I mean, you got to be a little prepared when you do an interview on an interview show, but it's not a necessity. You don't have to be. You can also let the curiosity of the conversation just flow. And whatever you want to talk about just comes out naturally on the microphone, because I think that delivers some of the best interviews you'll ever have is when the conversation just leads itself. It's not scripted on a piece of paper. So getting back to what I was saying about making money with the podcasting, turning this into an actual career, gosh, I would love to do this full time and actually make some serious money podcasting. And in fact, as I record this episode right now, it's already happening. It's already in the works. Podcastic Audio, which I mainly designed this show just to help you create your show. But if you do not know anything about podcasting, if you do not know how to press record or what software to use or how to make the audio even sound great, but you want a podcast, you still want to get a show out there, don't you worry. I am here to save the day. All right, Podcastic Audio, I have created something that I like to call Podcasting Made Easy. It is my production services that I am offering as of Last month, December, I had my very first client, and now clients, as I should say, where I am creating podcasts for companies. I had a major company reach out to me to create a podcast for them. And I'm like, well, sure, I can do that. Let's get things figured out. Let's figure out a price. Let's figure things out. Let's figure out a plan. 
And now I've created an actual business contract, which they have signed and paid for. So in podcasting made easy, the podcasting audio production services, basically what it is, is where I will record your podcast, publish your podcast, edit your podcast, and he will send it up to your media host all for you. It's all included in podcasting made easy. How easy? So easy that you don't even have to press record. Now that's easy. So how does it even work, Chris? Well, let me tell you. So basically, first things first, we have to have a communication. So we will do is set up a Zoom meeting call, basically like a strategy call to find out if and how I can help you create your podcast. And I'm talking audio only, just for the record, because I love audio, and audio outperforms video 20 to 1, and it's much easier to do. So like I said, once we have that little meeting, chit-chat, figure out what your podcast is about. Is it a business? Is it a hobby? What is it for? What are you looking to get out of the podcast? Who your listener is going to be? All that basic stuff, the style, all that great stuff. We talk about getting you a maybe a media host, figure out where to get that so- signed up. Um, maybe figure out some graphic art for your artwork for your show. Get that figured out. And then how do I record, edit, and publish your episode for you? Like, how do I do that stuff? Well, I'll tell you, I've already done it for a company already. So uh, what I've done with them is that I love Clean Feed because it gives you the amazing audio end-to-end, crystal clear, without anybody in between interrupting the audio flow. The audio does not go to the cloud or anything like that. It goes directly from you to me, clean and clear. So all you need would need would be a basic USB microphone and a pair of headphones. And I will record everything on my end, you and up to three other people. So four people total on the call. The reason why I chose four, I mean, I could actually go unlimited, but the reason why I chose four people for your podcast is that when you start to get more than four people on a podcast is because it gets a little crowded on the actual audio podcast to have more than four, I think. So I think four is a good even number to have up to four people on your podcast all talking at the same time. And I'll make sure that everybody in the call sounds phenomenal, especially you, of course. So you would log in, connect with me. I would record everything. So I would have the files instantly. So that takes care of the recording part. I sit here and record it for you. You get an access pass to the K2 Studios Direct. So that's how that works. I will get the recording over here in the cleanest files possible. Then I will use all the tools I have at my disposal to make sure your audio sounds amazing. I'm talking you, your guests, your friends, everybody. Then I will polish the audio episode together, take out all of the ums, make sure that sounds great, add a little intro bumper music at the front end, and then I package it up and send it off to your audio host. Then your episode is up for you to distribute to all of your marketing team. You know, you market your own stuff. That's how it goes. I am here to create the finest podcast episode for you. This is Podcasting Made Easy, which you can find at podcasticaudio.com slash easy. That's easy. How easy? So easy. You don't have to press record. Now that's easy. So right now, I'm going to play a sample clip montage that I put together of my clients which I have used this very service for their podcast. There was so much traffic. It was probably five to one California into Texas. Yeah, it, but we still, we still got high hopes and high aspirations. I shouldn't even say hopes. Visiting that site in San Marcos and just thinking, what in the heck are we doing way out here? He saved that property for Larry and I to see last because he thought it would be our favorite. Well, Dirks comes out into the crowd. That's just part of his gig, you know, it's part of the show. And he comes, you know, within 10 or 15 feet. Relaxing time with your families and friends and, and enjoy some much needed rest, I'm sure. So all of those clients were actually recorded remotely. None of them were here with me in the studio. It was all done via clean feed. I recorded their shows for them all over clean feed and I took care of it easy peasy. 
I love Clean Feed. If it wasn't for Clean Feed, none of this would be possible. And I want to thank Mark and Mark for creating such a fabulous tool that allows me to make, take podcasting to what I call the next level. This is podcasting made easy. So if you want to create a podcast, you don't even know where to even start or even how to even do it, don't you worry. This service was created for you so you can be the star of your show. Don't worry about the technical stuff. Don't even worry about pressing record because I got that handled and taken care of. I'll make this extremely easy for you. All you have to do is show up and talk. I mean, how hard is that? Not hard at all. This is podcasting made easy. Oh, and I almost forgot the best part. Every client that signs up also gets coaching from me included. Check that out. We'll go over strategies about your podcast, what things might work, might not work. We'll talk about, I will be the helping hand with designing your show personally. Like basically, I'll be there in your corner, rooting you on, helping you out, making the decisions on what will work and what might not work, you know, uh, which you probably won't get with other services. In fact, other services, they don't record your show for you. They actually have you record it and then you send it over to them. They might edit it, whatever, all that stuff. But I guarantee you that you're not going to get any coaching out of the deal and you're not going to have any recording done out of the deal either. So there you go. And I just love podcasting. I want you to be successful with your podcast. In fact, if you have a successful show, then it means I'm doing my job by helping you create your podcast. And I, it, everything I want to do is reach over there and help you do your podcast. Like I will jump out of my chair here and help you make a podcast. The only way I know how to do that is to actually record your show for you and edit it with tools that I have. If you like the way that this show sounds and the way the Chris and Christine show sounds, I guarantee you I will make your show sound the same, just as good, using the exact same equipment and the same tools that I use, I will use for you. So it's all included. Plus coaching? Are you kidding me? That's awesome. So if you're ready right now to make the step on creating a podcast that you've always wanted to, you go over to podtasticaudio.com slash easy. And on there, there'll be a link to my Calendly where you can book a meeting with me to figure out all about your podcast and how we can work together to create an amazing show that the, the show you've always wanted to make. Let me help you get it done. And if you have any other questions, you always can email me at podtasticaudio at gmail.com. But once again, my main website is podtasticaudio.com. And of course, there's a link to all of this stuff into the show notes and you keep on making your fantastic podcast with your amazing audio and I'll catch you next time.